In Harnett County in the town of Anger, a rare collection is on display at a rather unique museum. The Marvin Johnson Gourd Museum is the only one of its kind in the world. And as Heather Burgess shows us, it took some dedicated townspeople to save this collection for the future. Probably the only town that has a gourd museum. In the small town of Anger, in the municipal building, a rare collection unlike anything most have ever seen. I think they're amazed at what you could do with a gourd. And I've heard people say, well, you know, if we thought we might could have done that with a gourd, or maybe we need to try decorating a gourd. From the whimsical to the creative, painted and carved, these gourds each have a story to tell or a conversation to start because we've had people from other countries, other states, you know, that have come through and stopped just to visit the Gord Museum. The Gords are part of the lifetime collection of Marvin Johnson, a man who for five decades loved growing gourds and trading them with people from around the world. I think he would be pleased that we would remember that how much he enjoyed the gourds. And I think he would also be pleased we still have it open for anybody to come in. When Marvin's wife, Mary, felt the gourds might take over their home, Marvin started a museum for his beloved collection in a building on his farm in the Kennebec community. When we were children, we knew the gourds were out there. Even had a sign that said, turn the lights on, it's on your, you know, right here it is by your right. Turn it on, enjoy, and just cut them off when you leave. Knowing Marvin's love of gourds, artists would send him the unusual and creative to complement his collection. I think they were artists that were interested in doing things with the gourds and got up with uh, Marvin. He would give the seeds away. He never sold them. He always gave them away. And some of those people in, in return would send him gourds, some of them decorated and some undecorated. There are slithery snakes and graceful penguins, trains and rather gaudy girl characters. Each gourd a creative piece fashion for fun. Well, we see the long neck gourds. We see gourds that are really round. We see some gourds that were manipulated when they were grown so they would take on different shapes. We have gourds that are turned into pocketbooks. There's even the politics of gourds, like this elephant sent to President Richard Nixon to adorn his desk. They would fix one and carry it to one of the presidents. Very interesting. From the gourds of Christmas to the musical side of this cousin of the squash, intricate figures painted, carved, or burned to make a statement and make you smile. Yeah, I think there was something that was just very interesting to take something that had grown and turn it into something else. And I think that's what really drew people. When Mr. Johnson died in 2003, he left his gourd collection to the Kennebec Baptist Church. That's when former mayor of Anger, Wanda Gregory, got involved to help display and safe keep the collection for generations of curious eyes. No, I never really thought of being keeper of the gourds, <laughs> but it was a fun job. And so we decided to move them here into our new municipal building so people could enjoy them. The Marvin Johnson Gourd Museum now has a special place in the town of Anger and a special place in the hearts of anyone who gazes on the goodness of these gourds. I think he enjoyed watching the people enjoy the gourds as much as it, as collecting them, you know. I think that was his way of reaching out to people too. The Gourd Museum is located in the Anger Municipal Building at 28 North Raleigh Avenue. This is the same building as the Anger Library. To view the Gord Museum, call 919-639-4413 or go online to anger.org slash gourdmuseum.